This is Peck's Beginner's Guide of Neil, Chapter 9, The Ega's Escape. Alright, let's get this started. So we're going to start off the mission by hugging the right side of the wall. We're going to loot this corpse. There is a ninja behind this door. So I was trying to get a critical point on it, but unfortunately... Uh, I couldn't find the critical point, so I just shot him, uh, lure him, dodge his attack, and punish him. Alright, and then there is a secret door on this wall. Use that, and then uh, unlock this treasure box. Climb up this ladder. And then uh, on the right side, there is a ninja. So just again, dodge the attack and punch. Then we're going to be, uh, we're gonna knock out this crystal yokai right here. Give us the opportunity to pass him. And then on the right corner, there is a trap door we're going to go down on and destroy this uh, windshield thing and then unlock this treasure box. And then we're going to unlock this secret wall. And beyond this, behind this wall is a yokai. Uh, we're going to hug the left side of the wall here. Let's get everything prepared, switch to uh, dual sword. And then we're just gonna start off the usual Kekai and Carnage. And then walk a little forward, cover your dual sword with lightning, use sloth and weakness. Uh, and then do un unsheathe your sword, walk a little towards him, start off with the cross slash, and then just immediately keep attacking him like, carefully. Alright, and the reason why for this yokai, he was guarding a secret wall right here. When using that switch to high stance, uh, there, there is a crystal right there. I destroyed that because that will kill two ninjas that were behind that windshield thing. Right, and then we're going to uh, unlock this door to give a shortcut to the first shrine. We're not going to use the first shrine right here. Uh, we're going to be going up here. And there are two ninjas. Uh, right there. Uh, one of them shoots the uh, fire arrow, so just be careful on that. Alright, so for the second ninja, again, I couldn't find the critical spot. And what I mean by the critical spot, there is a dark red dot that is surrounded by the red circle. So what I did, I just uh, shot him, had him t lord uh, towards me. Uh, and then dodge and punish uh, with attack. Alright, we're just going to be going up here. And then we're going to take down this ninja right here, which will shoot cannons uh, if we try to go across the bridge. And then in that room is another ninja, so we're going to lure him right here in this area. Dodge his attack and then punch him. Alright, we are going to be fighting that ninja again because we are going to go inside the room and to the right there is a shrine. Okay, we're using that shrine to replenish our Omeo magic as well. So we're gonna walk instead of running because again when we go to see our left is the ninja Let's use cross slash and then just uh, usual dodge and punish All right, so we're gonna head up the stairs go to the right open this door immediately go to the left jump down 
because the floor is filled with spikes. And then uh, ignore this yokai, jump on this uh, uh, platform, loot this corpse. And then we're just uh, gonna walk. And as you can see below, there's full of uh, spider yokais. Uh, we're gonna switch to the hand cannon to take out these two ninjas right here. Uh, for the second ninja, is just right up there. And they sh uh, shoots uh, fire arrows at us. We try to go towards the door, which is just straight ahead. And then the third ninja is gonna come out uh, from the roof. And then we're just gonna have him fall off here. Uh, it's going to take them a long time to get back up due to the fact that the, there's a ladder but on the other, other side of the room. So we're going to open those doors, destroy that windshield thing, which will take us to another room. But not necessarily another room, it's the same room just flipped upside down. So we're just again walking, going to the left. And then uh, there's another ninja right below us, just take it out with a hand cannon. Alright, let's do it again of walking and then going to our left. And then we're going to jump down here to avoid fall damage. It's going to do it again. And we're not going to fight this yokai uh, that's guarding this door. We're actually going to just cast Sloth on him. And then when he attacks, the opportunity to run. Open this door. There's a couple of spiders coming from the ceiling. Hug the left side of the wall so you won't get squashed by that trap, which would instantly kill you. So I'll knock this door, wave dash all the way up, and then use the second shrine to reset all the enemies back to their original position. Okay, we're going to go down. And once we go down, so on our left is another uh, door. Uh, and there's a yokai right there. We're not going to attack it. We're just going to go to the right, hug the right side of the wall, and then go through the secret wall door. And then right here is another secret wall door. And then there is two ninjas here. Just take out the, take them out with just the matchlock. And just walk instead of run so that the ninja won't be alerted. And then take them out with... Another matchlock. If not, you can use a hand cannon for more power if you want. Uh, Alright, so we're going to switch to uh, high stance. Go to dual sword. And then immediately use the water slash on this crystal again. Alright. So the next boss... Well, the next thing we're doing is the boss. And the boss that we're fighting is named Giant Toad. So, uh, stay at high stance. And then the usual, just uh, Kekai, Carnage, cover your dual sword with lightning. It can also be water if you like as well, but lightning I think is uh, also weakness. Uh, so once we unlock the door, we're going to skip a cutscene, and he's going to immediately attack. So immediately dodge, then cast Sloth and Weakness. Uh, have him perform another attack. Just dodge that, and then punish him with a Water Slash. Unfortunately, I wasn't that close enough uh, to hit him, but that's fine. Have him do another jumping attack, run behind him, and then punish him with a cross slash. Oh, sorry, water slash. Uh, he's going to do another jump, and then uh, punish him with another water slash. And if you have done these steps correctly, congratulations, you have defeated Giant Toad. Alright, so go to your inventory as usual, just check your weapons and uh, armor, and if you have any prestige points, Go to your prestige and unlock as much as you can. All right, we're gonna, I'm not gonna skip this certain cutscene because, uh, to me, it is very adorable to uh, to see. Alright, so again, that cutscene to me was adorable. He looked like a little kid who tripped and spilled his milk, and he was too afraid to get up and yell, uh, knowing that he fell. <laughs> uh, again. That was ador he looked adorable. All right.
Alright, so it shows the way of the Omeo veteran is unlocked, of which we are going to go there soon. But first, we're going to go to the blacksmith, and, you know, the usual, yes, just uh, fill your ammo, uh, buy some armor and weapons. Uh, if you need to soul merge or disassemble and forge, if not, save whatever weapons and armor you have picked up during your mission and use it on the offering on the shrine and sell it for more Amarita and gain some more elixir and spirit stone for you to use. And on your inventory, if you have uh, spirit stones and magic hairlock, I uh, recommend using them. And we're going to go to level up, and we are going to increase our magic and spirit by two. Alright, and then we're going to go to the dojo, and go to the way of the Omeo veteran. Alright, so for this, after, if, uh, once completing this uh, mission, we'll be able to unlock all of our Omeo magic by level three. So, here is how you complete Way of the Omeo Veteran. So go to Kusurigama and then use the Summer Twilight. Boost your magic and, uh, and lower your defense. Uh, switch to Dual Sword, mid stance. Uh, attack this first yokai. Unsheath. Then use a cross slash on this mini one eyed yokai. Uh, fight the wind yokai and then the blue floating head yokai. Uh, use kekai and then use sloth on this uh, yokai. This yokai is a wind type and is weak against electric, so just keep using a fire shot on it. And then switch to high stance and then uh, quick, try to punish him with the cross slash or the water slash. Uh, I did get greedy with my attack, so I got punished. I gotta be careful, which I did right there. I uh, used Wind Protection uh, Talisman and cover my dual sword with uh, Lightning, which I should have done in the first place. Alright, and then now what I'm doing is like once it attacks, I'm just gonna. Uh, hit him once or twice on a high stance uh, light attack and then just dodge immediately uh, unfortunately I got a little greedy trying it for that third hit just be careful on that try to punish him with water slash that didn't work too so I just dodge his, uh, uh, that attack and then finish him off so hopefully if you have done those cor uh, steps correctly you have come the way of the Omeo veteran. Alright, and as for your reward, you get a travel, talisman, a gesture, and the book of reincarnation. Alright, so we're gonna go back to the shrine. Uh, level up, and then we're going to raise our spirit by one. Then we go to a skill set. And we're going to unlock our uh, fire shot talisman to level three. As well as unlocking uh, the earth talisman, which we are going to be using that on the next mission. And then we're going to unlock incantation level three. Alright, then we go to Ready Jutsu, uh, replace uh, water with earth, and then equip the second lightning talisman, and then equip the earth to the shortcut. And on the next video, the mission that we're going to is called Memories of the Death Lilies, as I believe it is named. And the boss that we're fighting, his name is Ogris. Alright, we're going to be finding all the Kodamas and the Iga's Escape. Once again, this is on New Game Plus. So, let's 
get this started. So the first Kodama uh, is very easy on it. It's uh, pretty much where the f ninja behind the door was here. Go through this wall and it'll be right behind this ladder. For the second one, let's climb up here. And then we're gonna go to the right corner where the trap door was. And as soon as we drop, we immediately see the Kodama right here. For the third one, um, option just to unlock this door go up this ladder and you're gonna do the same procedure again but this time we're gonna go to the left instead of staying in the corner of the right and then uh, just be careful here there is a ninja and a yokai uh, in that area so be careful let's go through this wall it's where the crystal is uh, let's jump down here and then there's next there is next to the well. Now this one's pretty easy. Just go forward, go to the left, and then the next Konama is on to the left behind, underneath these bushes. Alright, for the next one, uh, it would look like I would be going to the room, but I'm not. I'm actually gonna go to the left. And then the next Konama would be behind this tree. I'm just gonna jump down here. Careful, there is a crystal there along with a yokai surrounding it. So I recommend destroying that crystal. Uh, let's destroy all the yokai and you'll find the next one I'm right there. Alright, and then for the next one is just where the uh, two ninjas are uh, before heading to the uh, giant toad boss battle. Alright, so I just destroy those two ninjas and then behind me is the uh, uh, stone eye wall yokai so again you don't have to fight it just uh, use the right gesture depending on its eyes and you should be able to get inside without any harm and you'll find the next kodama right there all right and then for the final kodama just behind this wall then to your left and congratulations you have found all the kodamas so we couldn't find any near shrines in, our, in this area, so we're just going to use the travel amulet just to go back to the last shrine that we used. Alright, and then we're going to go to the blessings, which is to the left of the shrine menu. And we're going to be checking how many Kodamas are there in each blessing. And yeah, hope this video has helped you out.